Samsung has revealed its latest high-end flagship phones, the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. But what makes them different than last year's models, and are they worth buying? Here are the five key things you need to know about the new models that are set to make a splash. Like last year's S8, the S9 has a large 5.8 inch screen, while the S9 Plus has an even more enormous 6.2 inch display. The S8's Infinity display turned heads, and Samsung has reduced the bezels even further on this year's models, though not by much. There are also three colours to choose from, black, purple or blue. Camera quality is clearly one of Samsung's priorities. The S9 has a single 12 megapixel rear camera, but the S9 Plus has two. One is telephoto and the other is wide angle. This means you shouldn't notice a loss of quality when zooming, and you'll be able to play with some depth of field effects too. Samsung says it's improved low light performance, but we'll know whether that's true after our full suite of camera tests. One thing we love is the new super slow motion mode. The video captures a jaw-dropping 960 frames per second for really clear and detailed slow motion shots. You can also have some fun with augmented reality emoji. Take a photo with the front facing camera and you're magically turned into your own emoji. It almost feels like your own lifelike sim character. There are improvements to Bixby, Samsung's voice assistant. Samsung says it can answer questions by taking into account what's on screen, even with incomplete information. New features with the S9 include live translation. You simply hold the camera up to the text and it translates it in real time. The S8's fingerprint scanner was next to the camera, which made it easy to smudge the lens. Samsung has responded by moving it under the lens on the new models, which will hopefully make it easier to reach. The Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus are certainly high-end phones with impressive looking specs, but do they have what it takes to snatch the crown and become the best phones of 2018? We're looking forward to sending them to our test lab to find out. Click here to subscribe to our channel and also make sure to check out our video on three things we loved and three things we didn't about the iPhone X, as well as our list of the top five smartphones of 2018.